Hello and welcome to Be a Tier, the German Engineer. Today we are back with episode 20 of our newest Let's Play series and this is of course Oxygen Not Included. Yes, you heard that right. This is already the 20th episode in this series. We are definitely making progress, but there's still a hell of a lot to do. For example, we need to beautify our base here a little bit and then of course we also need to dig our way into space. So let's just jump right into it and see how that works out for us. And here we are. So let's get started right away with going to space. That is the first thing I want to get started on. And we're gonna do it in this area right here. It just works so well, might as well straight go for it. And there's a couple of things we need. So first of all, I want to dig over probably right around here all the way through, should be perfectly fine. And then we're gonna put in a ladder. And the ladder is just gonna go anywhere. It doesn't really matter too much, probably just all the way to something right there. I want to dig out all the stuff right here. We don't need it anymore, so we're going to get rid of it. Eventually, we will be able to go with our plastic ladder right here all the way straight to the top. But then let's take a look right around here. Maybe at this height here where our abyssalite is, is probably a good height to get started with some insulated tiles made out of igneous rock. That's perfectly fine. No problem with that at all. And then right around, let's say here, we can come all the way over to... Yeah, where are we going to go? Probably something like this here. And then right here, what we are going to do is we're going to put in a little liquid log. Something just like this here. And then right here, we need to close the side here off eventually. That is probably the smartest thing we can do. Then we're going to go in here, grab us a plastic ladder. And with the plastic ladder, we can go probably, let's see, right around here, all the way to space. Yeah, that's probably a good position. All the way, just like this here. And then right here, we just close this side here off. Next on the list is in stations, we're going to come all the way down and we're going to build this atmosphere checkpoint and we plop it right there and then atmosphere docks, we just plop in a bunch. We are not going to use them anytime soon, so better to have too many than not enough, that's usually my mantra. They can fill up with oxygen slowly but steadily, that is perfectly fine and won't cause any issues. And then right here, we're just going to come down and build us the liquid lock that we need. We need to dig out all this stuff right here, all this here needs to be dug out and then right here. We kind of come all the way to space. There we have it. That is what that should look like when we are done. And actually, did I build it in the right location? Because where we need it is right here. Yeah, there is this and then the fire pole goes right there. So actually, I built it one too far over. This here is what we actually need. There we go. It is already in place. We're not going to build it yet. We first going to take care of this area right here. That is first on the agenda. So dupes, let's get started on it. Let's dig it all up and then we will go from there. Next on the list is right here in this area. Better to say right here in our power spine area. So let's take a look. When we go into power, we can take a look at our heavy watt wire and we can see it has a decor rating of negative 25. We also have a heavy watt conductive wire, which has a decor rating of negative 20. When we make it out of copper, it gets a 20% increase. And when we make it out of gold, we get a 50% increase. And we have a bunch of gold laying around. So we may as well beautify this area here a tiny little bit because this power line here goes through the entire base so let's make it a tiny little bit nicer for our dupes that is not needed for the power amount that we are producing we are only building it for the decor that is all i'm after so all of this here all the way over to right around here you know what let's come all the way into here let's make all these here out of gold Later on, we're going to rebuild everything, not with gold because we don't have enough, but this area here, because the dupes are in here quite a lot, is probably a good place to start. So let's get that built and then take a look what that looks like when we are done. Let's compare it first in our decor overlay right at this moment. This is what it looks like right now. Let's see what it looks like when we are done here. Meanwhile, over here on Abundino, last time around, we dug up this cobalt volcano right here. Yes, and last time around, it was not dormant, but now it is. So apparently we are in luck again. That took no time at all. And we are luckily in a dormancy phase. So that means only one thing. We are definitely going to tame it. So let's do precisely that. We're going to go into blueprints and here is our standard tamer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plop the tamer exactly in here as it usually goes. 
but of course we cannot exactly build it like this here so we need to do a couple things right here all of this here can go all of this here can go we don't need any of this stuff right here we have our power right here so we don't need this here either really we're just gonna plop it on the other side and then the liquid lock will i leave one liquid lock i might actually we cannot build half of this stuff because we don't have a mechatronics engineer over here but when we take a look into skills random dude is ready to pick it up whenever we need him to so that is no issue whatsoever that is definitely a good thing but other than that what else do we have to do right here all these ladders right here have to go and we have to rebuild a bunch of stuff in the middle all these here on the top let's go into buildings tear out this here tear out this here so the dupes can get around also these two tiles here will be torn out down here on the bottom we're gonna dig all the way straight over something like this here and i'm really not sure yet if we are actually going to keep this liquid lock here we may just close it off once it is done and if we have to access it we can always access it again from the right side so that's probably the smartest idea here what else can we do when we take a look into our shipping overlay we can go cancel all these conveyor rails here on the left side we don't need any of them so let's get rid of them all these here can stay as they are i believe yes yeah i think where we are right now looks halfway decent i will leave this here for right now or will i you know what screw it we're gonna get rid of it that's probably the best thing there we go all of this here we're gonna get rid of it entirely and then we're just going to enter right here there we go you also don't have to dig this far in that particular case and then with our ladder we're just gonna come all the way up to right there that should give the dupes proper access all around. They can dig through here. Let's make sure they dig all of this stuff here out and also above it. Now the dupes can start building and going in here on this side. Then come through, come down and build everything without disturbing this water right here. Yeah, that is how we're going to do this. Shouldn't be that big a deal for our dupes to get this here done. So let's first of all get this here done that we can do. That was the H button and not the G button. That is not what we want. And then let's make sure we dig this here out as well. So the dupes can then get in here as well. And then last but not least, of course, we need to deconstruct this ladder right here. So let's deconstruct it all the way to right here. There we go. That should give the dupes now more than enough to do. And we will check in when all of this here is done. Right here, the dupes have dug out everything, which is, of course, very good. And did I actually mess up my alignment? I just realized that. No, I did not. That's very good. So what we are going to do, we can get started on this up here right now. So I'm going to come down with a ladder all the way to right here. And then with the fire pole, I'm going to come down all the way to right there. As far down as we can for right now, that should be more than sufficient. And then right here, we are actually going to dig out all of this here as well, just so we actually have access to this area so the dupes can get started building up there. But down here, we of course also have salt water. So we need to do something about it. So what we are going to do is we're going to grab us a liquid pump made out of literally anything. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to plop it probably just right here. That is more than sufficient. What is the temperature of this water? 30 degrees. Also, that is perfectly fine. So all we need is a standard liquid pipe. And then with the liquid pipe, we're going to come all the way around here. Yeah, I want to leave this one here alive for right now. So our water doesn't escape. And then we can come all the way through here, all the way over, all the way through there. All of this here should be perfectly fine. And then we can drop the water just literally right there. Because down here on the bottom, we have another salt water basin. So we're just going to put a little bit more in here. It's going to be this simple. Also, though, where do we get power from? Right here. This wire right here. I think it is time to actually upgrade it. Should have probably done that a long time ago. I think that's the last wire we have that is a standard wire. So let's go conductive. Let's go cobalt. We have so much cobalt. We literally don't know what to do with it. So uh, let's upgrade all of it because we will need it upgraded anyway because it's going to go all the way to the top and it will power of course our atmosphere up there so let's make sure all of this here is appropriate not entirely sure if we still need this here anyway but whatever it's fine we have more than enough resources so it doesn't really bother me too much honestly so let's make sure all of this here is proper and then right here we can then just come all the way through there, all the way over, follow along our pipe, and then hook it up to our pump. There we go. That should get the job done. And the dupes once again have more than enough to do. But while we are at it, let's take a look at our decor overlay. Has it changed? Not a hell of a lot down here on the bottom. Okay, this one here is now a decor bomb, which is very good. 
but do we have anything else here in f2 why is it so bad right here okay because of this wire right there so let's change that real quick let's grab this heavy but conductive wire right here and let's come over to right there and then this joint plate right here can we replace that by any chance uh, that is our only output isn't it i don't think we can replace it at least not fast enough where is it at here's the this one here has negative 25 and negative 25 so it actually doesn't matter because once again we are not here because of the power we are not upgrading it because of our power load our potential load is 7.7 .7 kilowatts on a heavy watt wire and we can have up to 20 so it is absolutely no issue whatsoever okay let's upgrade these here let's make sure i didn't forget anything else okay we're gonna come all the way up to here maybe i need to go a tiny tiny little bit further with this wire right here let's come up to right there maybe yeah let's upgrade these here and then let's take another look we were probably gonna just hang some pictures here as well while we are at it so let's go into furniture come all the way down you know what let's make it portraits we can plop one right here. We can plop one right there. One right here. That doesn't work out. That is okay though. We're going to plop one right here. And another one right there. And then we will take a look if it's any better. And then also down here this corridor. I'm not entirely sure why we have two pieces of ladder right here. So let's make sure this one here gets deconstructed with a number nine. And this one here gets deconstructed with a number five. As soon as these here are done, I'm going to plop in a couple more pictures. So this walkway down here, these ladders as well as the fire pole also are probably covered with good decor. Take another look right here. Yeah, that makes it a little bit better. Again, the dupes are going to walk down here a lot. And then these two rooms here, we're going to fill up in due time as well. All right, dupes, let's get building. You have once again more than enough to do. While looking around through the base, I just noticed we pumped out a bunch of salt water, which is very good. We are getting lower and lower by now we have. Let's take a look here. Not right there, but right here. Six tiles worth. So let's take another look right here. All this here used to be filled with salt water. That is a hell of a lot of salt water. Let's take a quick look at our infinite storage. Yeah, we are at 50 tons per tile. My goodness. But something else that I noticed is right here. We have another anti-entropy thermal nullifier hidden over here. So why don't we just really quickly dig our way into here. Let's make sure this thing is completely free. Something like this here should get the job done. Let's get rid of this tile right here as well. And while we're at it, I don't think we need this door right here, do we? So let's get rid of this here as well. And then in F7... Yeah, right here is our insulated gas pipe that contains our hydrogen. We're just going to branch off of that thing and we're going to come straight over with it. And we're just going to come into here as well while we're ready to deconstruct that tile right there. There we go. And it looks a hell of a lot better. And what is this here? A liquid vent that is hooked up to nothing. You know, might as well get rid of it because we certainly don't need it right at this moment. So let's get it done. And then let's turn this one here on as well right at the moment. We don't need it we're just gonna do something very similar that we did up here all we're doing is we're making sure that it is turned on and keeping the cold area nice and cold so we can use it later for whatever comes to mind down here in the bottom this is now built or better to say excavated and built yes we all have our insulated gas pipe right here and we have our entrance and the anti-entropy thermal nullifier is working as intended and then we take a look at the temperature currently he is still holding it at bay but as soon as all this is cleaned up of course we will block this here off but what do my eyes spot over here let's take a look what are we working with now another cobalt volcano we don't even know what to do with the cobalt that we have and now you're giving us more my goodness yes here we have cobalt here we have aluminum and then of course up here we have iron and then on top right here we just started up our copper volcano and now we have another cobalt oh my god yeah that is uh interesting to say the least but we will probably dig into here from the top or from the bottom i don't know yet eventually and of course we'll also utilize this one right here but let's take a look what else have we done up here on the top yes look at this here we are making progress the dupes are added i of course also added a bottle empty right here so we can actually fill this here up and right here our pump pipe is blocked okay the dupes are still building this piece right over here as soon as this one here is done this one here will get started on pumping yeah we are looking pretty decent and in our decor down here on the bottom now we are looking a hell of a lot better yeah that's a hell of a lot better definitely still not optimal but also definitely better there we go so far so good 
All that is left to do is to actually finish this year up. So, dupes, let's get it done. Over here on Abundino, our Cobalt Tamer is also making progress, but not as much as I really wanted to. So, let's see if he can bring on another dupe. Let's see what is in our mini pod. Choose blueprint. We have Ada with farming and doctoring. Starts with a tier one skill in hard digging and is narcoleptic. That is not good. We have a Nisbet uh, supplying plus 10. That would be really good, actually. Starry eyed, moral bonus while in space. That does nothing. Decreased excavation is a little bit of a problem, but I don't think we need another excavator over here. The supplying here is really nice. And then we have doctoring. Don't even have to take a look at this here because it cannot build at all and we don't need a doctor. So we're going to go with Nisbet. But Nisbet is, of course, not going to stay Nisbet. Nisbet is going to be Tom Brodsky. Yes, that is one of my newest subscribers or better to say YouTube members. Thank you very much, Tom, for your support. I really appreciate it and welcome to the game. There you are. And of course, we will go directly into skill and Tom, you will get improved carrying one. And then in your priorities, Tom, you will be a number one in tidying, number one in supplying and number one in storing. That is what your job is. And I'm sure you will do very well at it. And of course, you will also get an appropriate hat. Improve carrying number one. You shall have it. There you go. And off you go and help us build the thing over here. And now down here in the bottom, the dupes have cleaned up everything and I put in insulated tiles right here. Three of them to be precise, doesn't really matter that much though, but we will just keep on cooling this area over here for right now and we're not going to worry about it. So that is done and we are just losing another 10 grams a second of hydrogen. But right here in our storage, we have 285 kilograms, so we are not that worried about it. Something else that I did is right here. I extended this line here all the way to the top. That is right. Up until right here. Because up until right now, I put in these tiles right here to push the salt water over. Which means now we can tear it out. Just like it this year. And as soon as those here are gone, what we then can do is we can come in with the plastic ladder and we can come all the way through. And also with our fire poly, we can come all the way through. But first of all, of course, these tiles here need to be deconstructed. But most importantly, the reason why I did that is so we can directly come up with our gas pipe. So we can actually get started right here. That is right. And right now, everything down here is a mess, but I will clean that up in a second. As soon as all this here is deconstructed, we don't have to go around anymore and nothing. The only thing that I'm going to leave is this pipe right here. And the reason for it is, well, that it does not matter because it will get torn out anyway the second that this here is empty. So let's get pumping, let's get building, and then we will go from there up here in the top. We are also making very good progress. Over here on Ingenium, now we have our liquid lock established and he is bringing, of course, more crude oil. Yeah, well, screw it. We're going to plop it in there anyway, because as soon as it is done, we are just going to deconstruct it. We won't need it anymore. And also slowly but steadily, the oxygen is arriving and we'll fill it all up. Thankfully, currently we don't need it yet, so it doesn't matter. Also, the atmos suit checkpoint here is disabled and it was the entire time, so the dupes don't have to use the atmos suits to go out and dig this here up. But we have officially reached space. Here we are, and the hydrogen is slowly but steadily dissolving into space. Over here on Abundino, we are also making quite a lot of progress. Look at this here. Basically, everything is built. That is very good. And there's one more thing that I plopped in here. And when we take a look in our F6 overlay, we can follow this insulated pipe here along all the way through. And you can see there's already polluted water coming in. And it is, of course, coming from Ingenium. So we will fill up our loop over here. Our loop is done, I believe. Yes, it is. It is indeed wonderful. That is perfectly fine. Now we just need to clean up, create a vacuum in here, put a little bit of water in, and this here should also be ready to roll. It's literally this simple. Also, metal tiles, preferably made out of aluminum. We can start plopping those in all the way along the top is already doable, and then we just fill up the rest. So this one here is basically also completed. We are still researching it though a little bit. I can't really tell how much is missing, but Amir is definitely on the job. So we are looking very decent. That is the gist of it. And over here in Abundino, everything is now completed that needs to be completed. The only thing that is missing, of course, is the bottle emptiers. We need some water in here. We need to create a vacuum. But what we need to build is built. Yes, everything is done. The auto sweeper is the last piece in the puzzle. 
And now we can get started on our metal tiles as well, slowly but steadily, just making it completely shut right here. Also, we have the water in here, 2,800 kilograms in reserve. We are already looping, but we don't have power. So let's take a look at that. Currently, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out to the right this time around instead of to the left, because, well, that makes the most sense for this tiny little change here in our layout. And that is always what you need to keep in mind. You have a template that is all good and fine, but you, of course, need to customize it to whatever fits your needs in whatever situation you're in. And that is precisely what I'm doing right now. But other than that, where do we get power from for right here? That is probably the bigger issue. We could, in theory, we're definitely going to put more stuff in here to actually produce power. So it probably would make sense to go into power and grab us the large transformer and pop it somewhere up here. Maybe turn it around. Yeah, it probably makes the most sense. Let's leave the same amount of space on the right here as we have up here on the top. That should be more than sufficient right now. And then with heavy water wires, we're going to come all the way just straight through here and hook it up right there. And then with conductive wires, we're going to come into right here. And then with a wire bridge, we just hook it up right there. There we go. And that should connect then everything to power. Just as easy as that. That's how we like it. And that's how it should be. And now right here, we have everything done. We have the gas pump in. The gas pump is pumping a little bit early, but we also have water in here and we are at 60 kilograms roughly. Yeah, that is more than sufficient, which means only one thing. We can deconstruct these here and then close these here off for good. Yes, that should get the job done once and for all. And as soon as this here is closed off and we have created a vacuum, we can also turn on our thermo aqua tuner. And yes, I also put in a conveyor rail that just goes through the entire base all the way through to over here to our infinite storage. It's literally this simple. And currently, because we are not cooling our metal tiles down here at 48 degrees, yeah, something like that. So we are just rotating this here until the thermo aqua tuna actually comes online. So let's get this one here and yeah we can actually not get there can we so we need to deconstruct these two tiles here so we can get in here then close this here off and then close this here back off it's literally this simple and we should probably get this here done relatively quickly because otherwise we are also creating a vacuum in here and we don't want it because our two steam turbines of course need an atmosphere so we can actually properly cool them down but other than that, we are looking decent, I would say. And random dudes already here deconstructing. Yeah. And our cobalt volcano. What are we actually looking at? Next activity in 14.9 cycles. So we have plenty of time to get this here done. Very good. Let's get the rest of it. And then let's turn on our thermo aqua tuner. Now the vacuum is created and everything is cleaned up properly. That is very good. So last but not least, we're going to come in here with an insulated tile right in this position right here. As soon as this one is built, I'm going to build one right there. As soon as this one here is built, I'm going to tear this one out and build another one right here. So we are going to close this year off. And as soon as it is closed off, we will then go ahead with our liquid pipe thermal sensor right here, turn it on and make sure that our cooling loop is properly cooling. And right here we have it exactly as expected. Here we have our two insulated tiles with a vacuum right here. It's literally this simple. There we go. So let's go back to Ingenium real quick because I cannot remember what did we set this thing to to negative five. There we go. So let's say we are going to turn on our thermo aqua tuna if the temperature is above negative five. There we have it. It is turning on. It is creating a bunch of heat, basically immediately heating up the water and also cooling down the water that is in the pipes so we can actually cool down those metal tiles down here and we should see a drop in temperature basically immediately. Let's turn up the speed a little bit and let's watch this here. Yeah, we are down to 42 and we are dropping like a stone. That is wonderful. So this here should soon be empty and the system here is ready to roll whenever this cobalt volcano here goes out of dormancy. There we have it. It's literally this simple. And now last but not least, let's take another look around. Up here on the top, we have our gateway to space. It is ready to roll. It is full of oxygen to the brim, just as that should be. And there is one more piece of sand that a dupe has dropped. Other than that, this here is also completed, I see. My goodness, I kind of completely forgot about this here. So let's clean it up. 
and then we will also tear out this pump right here while we are at it so let's do that right away so i don't forget about it in the next episode and in f6 we don't need any of this piping here anymore all of it literally can go completely unnecessary so let's tear it out and then down here on the bottom let's do not forget about our decor yes this here used to be all red now it is a decor bomb wherever the dupes go that is what that should look like and we can see it worked our stress level is down to zero and then last but not least down here on the bottom our anti-entropy thermal nullifier is doing its best the temperature is almost at negative 50 degrees that is very very good yes and our salt water of course is making more and more progress that is of course what we want to see all the way on the top here we still have this hot polluted oxygen vent that we may eventually tap into to take a look at it and of course space is on our mind and on abondino yes we are creating the first steam and of course right here our metal tiles are now down to 23 degrees that is what that should look like and that is what we wanted wonderful i couldn't be happier about the results but that is all I have for you today. So if you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and of course, comment down below. You know it, I'm always happy to hear from you, and of course, it would help me out greatly. And with that, I say thank you, and peace.